Hi, this is Brian from Amazon Web Services. And in this video, we're going to look at how to set up State Manager, part of EC2 Systems Manager. Let's take a look. We'll start in the Amazon console, and we'll take a look at EC2. And then we're going to scroll down to the section that we need, which is the State Manager. And in State Manager, you can see some other videos where we've done inventory, we've done parameter store, you can see other common use cases. In this, I'm going to create a couple more. And so let's go create an association. Now in this first association, what we're going to do is we're going to create this and we're going to run a Linux shell script. So I'll choose run shell script and then I'm going to target my Linux boxes. So I'm going to choose platform on the tags and Linux. Next we take a look at do we run it every 30 minutes? Do we run it every hour up to 12 hours? We're going to choose run it every Saturday here. Uh, and we'll choose 2 o'clock UTC time. Next in the command here, what we're going to do is enter the commands to run antivirus. The uh, products in the Amazon image, we have access to the Clam AV, but we don't have access to run the daemon and have it run all the time. So what we need to do is periodically run the antivirus and have it search the entire hard drive. So we'll have that run on the Saturday at 2 a.m. when no one's using the systems. And so what the commands I'll, I'll enter here are changing to the root and running Clam AV scan and including all subdirectories and only outputting data when we find a bad file. So in that demo, what we saw was how to use the systems manager to cause the antivirus to kick off every Saturday. In the next demo, what I'm going to look at is how do we go and secure the Linux box and basically turn SSH off so that no one can log into the box unless we, using run command, turn it back on. And so let's take a look at that. So we're going back into Systems Manager here, and we create another association. In this association, we're again going to go down and we're going to choose running a shell script for Linux. And then we're going to specify the tags as well, and we're going to look at the Linux boxes again. So we'll choose Platform and target all the Linux machines. The nice thing about this is there won't be any errors because the old machines won't be included. So for this, we're going to run it, oh, let's say every two hours. Because what we're going to do is we're going to turn off SSH. It's a very quick statement. And so what I need to do is this command here where we sudo and take SSH and stop it. So I'll paste this command into the command window. And the way to undo this would be to do a run command and just turn it to start, change the stop to start. But we create that association. OK, and that's how we use State Manager to turn off SSH. And we can easily turn that SSH back on using a run command, just reversing that command and changing it from stop to start. This will secure our systems and make sure that people can't access those. What we're going to do next is we're going to take a look at how to do that on Windows and turn off RDP access to our servers. So we'll start again here at State Manager and we'll create an association. In this association, the first thing we'll do differently is we're going to run PowerShell. And so we'll choose the AWS Run PowerShell script document. And we're going to specify tags in the same way. We'll choose Platform, but this time we, of course, will choose Windows instead of Linux. And then we'll come down here and we'll choose the time frame. Every two hours sounds like a good time frame to make sure we can turn that off and set that back. In case anyone has to enable it, they'll have two hours before we disable it. And here's the commands I'm going to take for that. First, I go and I disable the firewall. After I disable the firewall, I'm going to do a call to see if terminal services is turned on. So I check the registry. If that is on, if that's true or equals one, I'm going to turn it off. I'll basically change the registry and then I'll, start, I'll stop the services and then restart the services. So we'll paste those parameters in and we'll create the association. There we go. And that's how you secure your instances by turning off remote desktop services. If I need to turn those back on, I can easily do that with a run command and just reverse those commands. I hope you got something out of these demos. I appreciate your time. Please join us for more demos. Thanks for watching.